Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the Mountain Man show last night. Um, I had a lot of fun filming it. Um, and, um, yeah, just really, really good content, you know, with the moose and, and all of that. So, um, but, uh, hey, uh, Dan's back over. Uh, finally, we um, found time where we could we could hang out again and, and, and talk about wolf trapping. And so um, I'm going to show um how i do a wolf um dirt hole set and we're going to do maybe a couple different variations of it um and that's what we're going to talk about today so uh, i try to keep my videos not real long you know because um you know people just kind of lose interest you know and i guess everything needs to be short nowadays so um one thing with my wolf trapping um and on my dirt holes and i like a grade like that you know that's about level there i like that grade kind of like that we're going to do a big kind of a, a sexy hole with it um we're going to use a pulaski to open it up yeah nice handy tool you look at my big v i'm making i want all of this Stuff, all this stuff, all this dirt and duff and everything is just nothing but attractant to the to what to the wall. It's gonna look like something really dug it up. And um, just the eye, big eye appeal. Hey Timber, Timber, what's this? There we go. Alright, so my distance back is about 16 inches. Um, big huge bed right there. Uh, distance back is about 16 inches and that has to do more like with the angle of the hole um, the more the hole is level you know like this the further back I go the straighter the hole is up the tighter I go with my trap so same thing goes with coyotes we're gonna get a nice deep hole I like it the hole deep enough where it's it's dark in the bottom if you can't get it where it's dark in the bottom i put my bait in there and then just kind of throw that over the top like that just to make it a little bit mysterious you know all right the bernie setters i love my bernie setters out of idaho We're using a no BS Wolf Extreme. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and actually put the wax sand down in there. I use about a gallon to about a gallon and a half per set. Um, if you look at my trap bed, let me get this camera. If you look at the trap bed, it's kind of like a cone. Um, and that's for really good solid bedding, you know, so it sits on all four corners of the trap. So really, really important. You get it nice and bedded solid. So I use a lot of wax sand in the bottom like that, just because of the crappy weather we got in the winter time for trapping. The dog goes towards directly towards the uh, the hole. Twist that sucker down in there, and they, they bed really solid. These big traps bed really really solid, real easy. Um, get that wax sand on top. And then go ahead and over the top of that wax sand. And then I'm going to, what's really important is guiding that foot down. You can block them things down just like that. A lot of blocking with wolves. Um, now this, I wouldn't do this with coyotes, not at all. But with wolves, I, I would. Um, 
and right there is where I want that wolf to step. You got to understand a, a wolf's foot is uh, probably one of the most important tools he has. And if he damages that foot and he gets an abscess in it or something like that, it's really hard to chase elk down and eat him. So he's really going to be watching where he steps. He's not going to want to step on all this sharp stuff here. He's going to want to step right there in the sweet spot. So guide him down really, really, really tight. Um, I'd leave these roots just like that. It's kind of an ugly coyote set, but we're not trapping coyotes here. Um, I'd go ahead and a lot of bait down the bottom, um, way down the bottom of the hole. You don't want no, no bait or no lure, nothing on the, the lip of the hole. Put nothing on the lip of the hole. You want it all down the bottom. Um, and that way uh, the wolf has to go ahead and pull it out before he can roll on it. Um, and that's really, that's really, really important right there. Nothing on the lip of the hole. I don't want no gland lure, no urine, nothing on the lip of that hole. I put it all down the bottom. So um, that's just a simple, simple dirt hole. So uh, I, I was just talking to Dan. Okay, we were going to go down and, and do another dirt hole, but I was just talking to Van, Dan and Aunt Van. <laughs> I was just talking to Dan and explaining to him that the whole art and the whole thing, the trapping is, is being able to take that, that animal's eye and nose and direct it to one spot. And then you can go ahead and you can go ahead and, and um, place that foot where it needs to be. Okay, so if you can get that animal to go ahead and you know the distances and all that, to go ahead and smell one little spot, you know exactly where to put your trap. Does that make sense? Make sense? Okay. Yeah. So what I'm going to... I like getting creative with my sets and not having the same thing all the time. And I just turned around and I was talking about that. And I looked at the stump and uh, we can go ahead and make a set out of the stump right here. And it's going to be almost a walkthrough set. Um, if you keep making the same set all the time, one, the wolves are going to go ahead and get used to it. Okay. Um, I'm going to pick on Dan a little bit here. He, um, he's, he says, well, what about the, the um get out of here timber he says what about the um the campfire set um yeah it'll work but are you going to go and make a campfire every time you you want to go set a wolf trap and so what happens is guys get set on one thing and be, and they catch they catch a wolf on it or something on a coyote on it and so that is the only way to catch the animal on it and um and to me you got to have a few more tools in your toolbox to be successful so we're gonna go ahead and add lib a little bit here. And this is how I would trap when I'm wolf trapping. Now we'll do this basic dirt holes and stuff like that, but I'll look for stuff like this. This would be a two trap set and I would do it two different ways. So um, here, here's kind of how I would do this set right here. Um, and this is what's fun about, about wolf trapping, I guess and um, is not just doing the same thing over and over and over. It's not as re repetition, repetitious as uh, it would be coyote, like production style trapping for coyotes. Um, this is a little bit more strategy. So two different ways you could do this set here. One of it is uh, you could go ahead and peel this back and get a little bait down here, fill all these cracks up with, with bait and put that back bed your traps here cover them up or what you can do is go ahead and soak this stump right here with urine so um, what I would do in this situation I would run two traps I would go ahead and, and put it on a drag off to the side and a drag off to the side that way if we get one wolf come up he goes to piss on it we catch him he runs off there's another one wondering what's going on and we get him caught so this is just an example example of like kind of thinking out of the box when you're wolf trapping. Um, um, and that, that's just, uh, it, 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 it takes time to go ahead and learn something like this as far as, you know, looking at different ways to set. So um, I like to work with these stumps like this a lot. So this would be an awesome set. Too bad it wasn't in, in my front yard here where my dogs are. All right. Uh, I can't take credit for this set. Uh, Lane... I think his last name is Matthews, maybe not, I don't know. Lane, he's out of uh, Idaho. If, if you're watching, you know, tell me your last name. Um, 
so anyways, um, old badger holes and stuff like that. And um, I, I guess, I don't know what he calls it, but I kind of call it a shelf set. And so trap will get bedded right in here. Let's just go ahead and click. Trap will get bedded there. We'll put our pan cover over the top. I like this, this shelf idea, you know. So, of course, this chain's gonna be covered up. I'd even go ahead and put a couple of clods here, guide that wolf in. And then leave this mound right here. Um, I've caught a lot of coyotes on this. I have not caught a wolf on it yet, but I, I just can't see why it wouldn't work. But, um, so this is your shelf right there. Wolf wants to look in the hole, he steps up onto that. You know, what's nice is um, at this height, when he steps up and he's gonna push down, he's gonna go ahead and plant his foot in that trap, so. Another variation of a dirt hole, that's all it is. All right, so what we're doing is we're just, we're gonna go for a walk and uh, we're gonna look at possible sets um, and how I would set it up. I took these branches off like this. I would take this back like this here, clean this out. I'd put the trap right here and I'd soak this down with urine right there. Um, leave that bush right there. Um, I would go ahead and after I got the trap bedded, I would blend, I would blend it into the, to the area right here. But soak this down with urine and maybe even a little gland lure, coyote gland lure, something like that right there. And then uh, at the other end of the log right here, you could do another one right here. Um, take this, that stuff off of there. And um, at the end of the log here, I'd go ahead and plant another one tied up against with urine on that side. So here's, a, here's another one right here. Um, I got a stump right here. That right there, bed a trap right in between, right there, and um, soak that down with urine. Uh, a lot of these you can go ahead. This is nice because a little shelf right here, that urine will soak into there. You can start soaking these with urine like in July or August or something like that. So old rotten logs like this that are hollow going up inside, you know, um, real attractive. Um, that could be your bait hole. And then uh, just go ahead and place your wolf trap right out in the up front of that right there. You know, he's not going to step there or there to get to it. He's going to step right there. So. so we got an old road bed right here. And um, ran, they'll just random come down and just piss on trees. So I would go ahead and uh, set this one up. Um, I'd probably get that out of the way. Let's move that back. And then when I bed my trap, it would be bedded tight. When you watch a dog urinate on a, on a tree, um, first of all, I take this out of here, up above his head. They get, you know, they'll come up and smell it. And then when they go to piss on it, they'll go ahead and they'll get right up on us. This is their hind leg. And they'll lift that hind leg up like that and they'll almost touch their pecker to the tree and they'll urinate on it. So keep your traps nice and tight. So I, our wolves go through right before the big dumps of snow come, they start changing their patterns and uh, the wolves will go through a little transition. And um, so it's, I call it circle season. And when, uh, and it could be because, you know, they kind of know what a dirt hole is. They kind of know what's going on. They still want to, they still want to go ahead and uh, investigate the smell, get it out, roll on it. And so what I'll do is do my basic dirt hole like this. Bed my trap back here like this. And, and then I look where 
if the wolf was going to go ahead and circle my set, where is he going to step? And so most likely he's going to step in this spot right here. And um, I'd bet a trap right there. I'd probably guide it down. <coughs> I would tighten it up like that. Tighten it up like that. And I'd put a, put a trap right there. Um, I would try to look for another spot. It's a little bit wide open right here, but I could probably go ahead and, and block her down a little bit. And then maybe bed another trap right here. So that, that wolf, I've had them come literally within a, a couple feet and you could almost see them there, you know, they're leaning over, you know what I mean, trying to get a whiff. So he'll circle around, step here, and step here. I'd still leave a trap right there. So this would be a three set setup. Um, the reason I do leave uh, have a trap there, even if it is circle season, um, is because when I get a wolf caught, he's gonna be hung up, and then there's gonna be maybe two or three other wolves with him, and they're eventually gonna probably go ahead, hopefully investigate that dirt hole. So um, yeah, three trap setup. On a, on a dirt hole right on all right you guys um hope that helps some people out um, um when people want me to do a, a a wolf video it's hard to just do a wolf video and say this is how i do it all the time because it's different at every setup you know i mean i take the the area that i'm trapping and the terrain and and what i got to work with and i make a set out of it that's kind of how i wolf trap it's not a it's not a dirt hole um urine pose t-bone and stuff like that you know repetition type of thing it's i'm manipulating the ground and the area around me to go ahead and, and make the set work so um, i hope this helps somebody and i hope you catch your first wolf this year i hope you catch your 30th wolf this year appreciate you